What's up, gamers? Welcome back to the first iteration of the Parker Podcast. So you're not actually being welcomed back. You're being welcomed for the first time. Uh, you're welcome. This is the Parker Podcast with your host. I'm Ben Parker, and this is... My name is Eric Lippe. All right. So, um, the name of today's podcast is um, Tier List. We're doing a Tartan Tier List. Um it's a very good Tartan tier list. Uh, this Tartan tier list will be on um, uh, on school subjects. You know, everyone's favorite thing. All right. So uh, we're going to start good and basic with honors English, which from ninth grade. So uh, what, what are you thinking, Eric? All right. So I really, I really liked um, honors English. I would say that overall my experience was great with um, with English from ninth grade, freshman year, it was a great time. Yeah, that's really all I can iterate. Yeah, uh, I think it was a pretty good class. I'm gonna be honest, uh, I know that they changed it now. So uh, for you youngins, uh, you got off lucky, but for um, us old folk, uh, we had to read Tale of Two Cities over the summer. Um, that was not fun, uh, to be honest. But otherwise, the class was great. All right, so what are we thinking, B? I am, would agree with a beer tier for now. All right, we'll keep that a B, and we can move it later if we think otherwise. Uh, honors bio. Honestly, I feel like this class was just it kind of existed, um, but like it wasn't really bad at all. It it was just it was a good class. It wasn't bad. Um, not much to it. But you okay, know, for, for what it is, it's good. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to be completely honest. I was not a kid who really enjoyed biology as a subject. It was not my forte. I still, you know, did very well, but it was just... I really did not, you know... I don't have the best memory of the class over COVID. But at the same time, I know that everybody's different, so I'm willing to compromise with, I would say, a really good tier. Which what tier? are you thinking? I was thinking C tier. I feel like it's maybe not honors English level, but I th I think it's still like it's not bad. Yeah, I'm I'm also gonna agree with the C tier because right. I didn't really enjoy it, but at the same time, it wasn't a bad class. It's more yeah. just not my interest. All right, PE. Um, it's PE. It's you know, what do you expect? Uh, yeah, there there wasn't much. Uh, my personal experience with the class, I was the best in the class but at the same time i was running cross country mm. the time where everybody was still indoors so you were you were doing your sprinting okay i'm i'm just gonna say this all right if we were talking pe over covid year that would be straight in f that being yeah. said i feel like with not including covid year i'd say it's also going in c yeah non non-covid pe has to go into the c tier Covid PE, which I'm pretty sure is what we both took. Yeah. It's definitely an F tier. Yeah. I I've taken now, both, so. Yeah. yeah, I think we should put it in the C tier because we also have to honor that other people who are currently taking the classes. They didn't experience Covid. Yeah. I yeah. Honestly, I I, I agree with that. All right, Spanish. You take the four on this one, as I did not take this class at all. <laughs> all right. This is. In a similar vein to PE, yeah, I would definitely put it at a B tier instead of a C tier, because Spanish was was really great. It was a very enjoyable experience. Anybody who's taken Spanish knows the stories of Senor Ruli and always listening to the songs, working on the worksheets that go along with the videos. Definitely a positive experience. Or I did have it over COVID, but knowing that a lot of people aren't taking it over COVID now, or you know. Those people are mainly gone. We definitely have to put it at a B tier. All right. Yeah, that, that seems solid. I definitely can't really voice my opinion on it just because I never took it. All right. Uh, I'll take the four on this one. Moving on to French. Obviously, you were the Spanish kid. I was the French kid. Um, yeah, I can't voice my opinions on this one. Sorry, yeah. general public. Uh, honestly, French was pretty good. I really wish that they had German because I, I think if I had to pick between the two, I would have taken German. But sadly... Uh, German was no longer on the table. That being said, French is pretty good. Um, ninth grade French, I, I feel like both of them kind of blended together in my head. Honestly, it, it was fine. It was a good class. I'm going to also drop that in B tier. I feel like 
it was good, but it wasn't like so good that I, that I think it like would belong in A tier or something like that. Yeah, we we haven't hit our A tier spots yeah. just yet. Yeah. All right, health and CCP. Uh, what are you thinking? I I already I, have my answer. I took that over summer school. Ah, so I did too. <laughs> yeah, so those two weeks were. Um, I can definitely tell you I was not happy giving up half of my summer to work on those. Yeah, especially but, it was the summer yeah. of the COVID year too. I feel like that yeah. real I mean honestly, I feel like either way I probably wouldn't have enjoyed it, but I feel like that made it even more unbearable. All right. Yeah, that's going in F for sure. <laughs> All right. Sorry, sorry health and CCP. It's just yeah. that's the way it's right. That's the way it is right now. Yeah. All right. Um comp side, did you take this one? Uh, no, I never took comp sci. I'm gonna be honest, I feel like the COVID year really did this one dirty. Because, like, COVID year... Because, like, apparently, um, if we didn't have it over COVID year, we were gonna, like, full-on get to see, like, a computer being disassembled. Which sounds really cool. But because we were on COVID year, we sadly awesome. didn't. So, I'm gonna drop yeah. it in C tier. Because, honestly, because of COVID year, I would potentially drop it in, like, D tier. But... I feel like it doesn't belong there because I feel like COVID year really hit that class hard. Okay, Avid nine. All right, so that's definitely a very a very good class for those who. Okay, this was my first year of Avid. I know that now it might not be as many first years for Avid. Like many people joined the sophomore year, many people have done it since middle school. It's that's a great thing about the program. There's so much variety. As for Avid nine, you guys don't begin a lot of um. College prep, I would say. I'm not sure if that is the correct really way to say it. However, you guys do go over quite a bit of fin financing, which will be helpful. I would definitely say the, some of the assignments have helped me out. You guys will begin um, assignments that will definitely help you out your junior and senior year. So I would definitely have to say that that is a high B tier class at least. All right, um, next up is Honors English 10. I'm just going to flat out say it, that's going A tier. I feel like, because the books were, it, w it was two books, which, you know, obviously that's more than just like the one being um, Tale of Two Cities from ninth grade. That being said, I enjoyed those books much more. It was Book Thief and Color of Water, um, which both were, I, I don't know in terms of length if it, if those two combined were longer than Tale of Two Cities, but I know that they were definitely more enjoyable. That's for sure. Plus that class, it was a uh, it was a pretty good class. Um, we read some pretty fun books. Yeah, I would definitely have to agree with A tier. That was definitely a very um, the normal English one was very enjoyable being back in for the first you know our first actual year of high school. The that first A tier. Yeah, it was it was very very enjoyable. Um, I read, if I remember correctly, Animal Farm, and um, I'm trying mm. to remember the other book. Um, Fahrenheit four fifty one. That was that was a good book. Yeah, I think it varied on teacher because I didn't read Animal Farm. Um, and that's not that's not just like oh I had honors and you didn't because I know that some other honors people read Animal Farm so. I had already read Animal Farm before that due to me going to school out in LAUSD, and it's a very different curriculum. However, the book was even more enjoyable on the second time, and we actually got to go over it, which I really enjoyed that part. So That's cool. Yeah, I would, would definitely agree with A tier for Honors English. A for Animal Farm. <laughs> <laughs> all right all right Absolutely. next up uh advance into grade three or in your case honors um hmm honestly wait did we oh my god we had integrated two in the wrong one bro oh. all right let's quickly do integrated two uh i thought that I one was two. pretty good um there was some stuff that like i think there was one thing in that class i'm not even gonna lie where like it was like a formula or something and i completely like forgot it and didn't know how to do it and i still don't know how to do it but yeah it was a bunch of geometry stuff for me. I'm going to be honest, a lot of those, like, triangle relations have never stuck with me. Yeah. What What do you think? Maybe B or C? I think we have a lot in the B tier right now. I think just for the sake of fairness, because we both did it over COVID year two, I think it has to go into the C tier, unfortunately. All right. Yeah, I'll put that in C tier. 
Uh, all right, now moving on to your grade three. This one was definitely. I think I like this one over in grade two, like definitely a lot more. Again, this is another thing like French where it's like the two just blended together, so I don't even really know what's what with them anymore. But I, I think I definitely enjoyed that one a lot more if I remember. Yes, I actually, I had difficulties with the class. It was a tough. It was a bit of a tough time for me. I would say that I definitely did enjoy the class. It did stick out. No, yeah. I that was when we were first, you know, fully back to athletics too. And you know, myself and a lot of other people had to leave early due to us being put in fifth period in honors integrated three, hmm. which definitely you know presented difficulties. But I did the year off great, and I still use many of the mathematics skills today. So I would to put my opinion on probably b tier just for the usefulness alone yeah no i totally agree b tier b tier is good for that one all right our first history class uh, we have world history what, what do you think mm, okay i really enjoyed world history that one is in a similar vein to advanced integrated three however i would definitely say that i maybe enjoyed the class a little bit more over i think it should also go into the b tier i was actually gonna say a tier i feel like i mean i feel like all history classes i mean it depends but most history classes are actually pretty good like yeah especially because that one like it was i mean it was the thing is is called world history it's mostly just like they're not fooling anyone it's basically just like euro but without the ap because it's mostly just europe but yes yeah, yes, I thought I'm it was pretty fun. On, uh, actually, A tier. Yeah, all right. We'll pop that in A tier. Because I, I feel like that one definitely, I think, is above the rest in B tier. Yes. All right. I would have to agree. Next up, Honors Chem. Um, I actually had long hair at the time. So uh, that made the labs a little bit annoying, like, because sometimes I'd have to put up my hair for them. Uh, yeah, that, that's a bit annoying. But. Just, just remember in post we need to edit that picture in uh editor should we get that picture of ben? <laughs> i like how you say editor it's probably gonna be me uh yeah i it, suppose it might be you but still yeah. all right on we, the snap gotta... of my fingers here's a photo of me with long hair chances are it's probably right. just gonna be like an image just saying no i don't want to do that <laughs> all right uh anyway <laughs> yeah. what do you rate it Oh, I would definitely rate it in A tier. I really had fun with the class. At the same time, I took um, CP uh... chemistry, but again, I I had lots of fun with the class. Chemistry is one of my strong suits. Yeah, I thought chem so, was pretty fun. I, I yeah. I actually regret not taking honors chem. Hmm. So I think I say, don't so regret it. not taking AP chem just because I know that it would have been a lot of memorization. Yes, I, I know that there's like definitely differences between the EP and the honors, and again, like I just said, I regret not taking honors chem. And I feel like I would still have the same positivity about chemistry if I took honors chem. Yeah. So that there's the A tier in my spot. Yeah. Quick side tangent um, for anyone who's interested to try. Uh, in honors chem, we made butter, and um, we put that butter on bread. And um, we also had salt to like salt the butter. And um, I put a boatload of butter and salt on bread. And for some reason, it tasted exactly like a soft pretzel. So um, if you're ever bored, just try doing that and see if it tastes like a soft pretzel or if I'm just, uh, you know, very weird with my taste buds. All right, uh, Spanish two, this is your territory once again. Uh, all right, getting back to it. I really enjoyed Spanish too. I would definitely say almost any of my sophomore year classes I really enjoyed. I was definitely provided with a lot of challenges that year. However, I still enjoyed every single one of my classes. Spanish too was awesome. I got to do a lot of, we got to do a lot of games in the class to help us with the vocabulary. I would definitely say it was a lot more grammar and vocabulary based than the other years. Hmm. So that's more of like building what you what you're gonna use in the later years i'm guessing a tier then i would definitely have to put it in an a tier all right that's that's good uh let's see um french i feel like yeah it's the same thing french uh french two that's the thing french one i can't remember oh now i remember what book we read in um french one 
I'm not gonna say the title in French because uh, I know I'm gonna butcher it, and um, because you know I'm I'm a bit uh, worn out on my French as it currently, but uh, the title was Poor Anne. I think it was um, this book about this girl named Anne. But uh, in French uh, too, we read uh, one of the Asterix uh, books, which I probably just butchered that very slightly, but that's okay. Um, yeah. Those books were definitely really good. And French too as a whole was it was a much more like I think I think it was, you know what I think it was? I think it was because French two wasn't a COVID year. Like also that book was better. But I think like being able to do the language in person made it very nice. Yes, I definitely feel for a lot of those a lot of the language classes in, you know, coming back from COVID made them just so much better. Yeah. Alright. Avid ten, your territory once again. All right, glad to be back. Um, Avid 10 is definitely very useful. Imagine every year, Avid would definitely say builds. So there will always be TRFs, or they're called um, tutorial request forms, and there's this just time allotted to the class where you can get tutors to help you. And then the other part, the actual curriculum of Avid 10, is helping you out with jobs and preparing you for the SAT, which were extremely useful a lot of people within avid 10 you know it's sophomore year you know people start getting their work permits you know very soon after that if not within the class and you learn how to fill out job applications resumes it's very good you learn how to be interviewed and it's more about those life skills that are definitely going to come into play you know towards like your senior year and end of high school it's going to be extremely useful i would definitely have to put it into an a tier all right uh, i i mean i guess i can't really do anything but agree with that because i never took it <laughs> all right okay. uh u.s history what you feeling for this one u.s history okay <sighs> i think we're gonna have to bump it back down to like the b c tiers yeah for this i took okay here's the thing i feel like i can't really say the same because i took it over summer school so it was like much quicker and be, like it was uh, also just it was massive chunks of u.s history each day so it's like it especially yeah. pounded on me like that makes me want to put it in like potentially like s like c but i feel like that also might just be me being a bit harsh so do you think it deserves I, c i think it deserves the seeds like even yeah. that part just the large chunks yes it's just chunks at a time yeah i feel like it's just like not to hound on um you know our uh our um you know who we are but um yeah i feel like just having like history focused on one country is kind of, like for them not always but sometimes it can be kind of boring like i need that variety you know Yes, and then sometimes like units are just like skipped over yeah. and like parts you know some parts are more emphasized than others and i get it that some sections of history have more significance than others but i believe that we should still that doesn't invalidate the other parts that are just completely skipped over yeah that's a good point all right ap comp sci i don't think you took this class although perhaps you did Nope, it's um, back within your ballpark. All right. Uh, this class, uh, it was a pretty good class. I, de I don't know how much of this was because of um, uh, the fact that the intro comp sci was a COVID year or what. I mean, but this, because this class is more focused on the coding, whereas this, uh, the intro class is more focused on like general computer stuff. But I'm going to have to say this class was definitely way more fun i'm honestly thinking i don't think it's enough to be s but i am thinking i think a tier uh, is a pretty good place for it all right we're getting close to our first s tier then. yeah no we're, we're getting there dude all right. all right back in your court okay spanish three again like the same sentiments as spanish two but even better this time like it just it got even better there's still a lot of grammar that you work on but it's you know it's worked more into it's worked more into the units and it's just a lot better overall it's very enjoyable and you know it's okay the jump from spanish 3 to ap is tough but if you pay attention to the class it's manageable especially for those who aren't first time you know spanish speakers i mean um 
first language, Spanish. It's definitely very helpful, and it definitely expanded my Spanish vocabulary a lot. It's helped me a lot. I still use the notebook to this day to help me out. Uh, I would definitely cool. have to say it's definitely an A tier, and then I'll come back to it maybe later to see if that might be one of our few S tiers. Yeah, I, I was I was honestly waiting for you to give it the big old S. Um, weight training. Have you taken weight training? I've not taken weight training. I've had very big interest in it, but unfortunately, it just never fit into my schedule. Uh, yeah, uh, I took it a uh, junior year. Um, I mean that makes sense given we're on the jun the classes that we took in junior year. Uh, that one I would have to say it it's a pretty good class. Um, I think compared to normal PE, there's some things I prefer more about normal PE, and there's some things I prefer more about weight training. Um, of course, like because weight training is like it's definitely more like physical. I'd have to argue like um p is definitely more like sort of like cardio because a lot of time with p you're just running around stuff whereas weight training is obvious well you know it's weight training it's about lifting the weights yeah. um a couple you do have to run a couple times during the year and there is typically a bit of cardio each day because you know cardio um <laughs> you can never escape cardio but uh i'd have to yeah. say it's it's a pretty good class especially if you like don't have a gym membership and want to like work out or if you just like don't really have the time to work it in or stuff but yeah so uh, you're telling me free gym membership bro sign me up yes all right um i'm thinking uh, i think b tier i think that fits pretty good because i think it's better than normal pe but i don't think it's like you know i don't think it's like the king of the hill in terms of classes all right, uh, Calc All right. BC and AB, because I know that you took AB. Yeah. What you think? I I love the class. Um, honors pre-calc definitely helped me out a lot. Uh, love love, just love the class in general. I don't want to say that it's easy. It definitely provides its um unique challenges. Wait a minute. Or it's very. You said honors pre-calc. Oh, we oh, we, we, I, honors we pre skipped honors pre-calc. Okay, uh, where would you place honors pre-calc? <laughs> right. I think, just right off the bat, I'm going to put this as our first S tier, unfortunately. Really? It's AP. But yeah, just jumping you know, straight off the bat, it's our first S tier. I love the class. If you're not someone that's mathy, it's still very doable. Uh, if you took any of the integrated three classes... It's a lot of, I don't want to say review, but it does harbor back to many topics. And again, just if you're a math person, that I'm pretty sure that even boosts the class even more in your opinion. Hmm. Just Interesting. Okay, well, because I was going to say, I feel like um, AP Calc, I feel like that might be, um, It's. Cl I feel like it's cool. It's a very high A tier, but I feel like that's still A tier. Because I feel like, compared to stuff like, like, because world history was pretty fun, which makes me consider if world history should be bumped up to S tier then, if we would throw that in S tier. I believe that we can give world history the S tier in this opinion, All right. in this time. So I will throw both of those in S tier. I'm really tempted to also throw in comp side S tier, but I feel like that's also because um, one of the things that we did in comp side was uh, this uh, little practice thing called Coding Bat. It's like this website. Um... I uh I was very much like a coding bat nerd sort of like no like I was I th to my knowledge I was like the only person in the class who basic like just went ahead and did the coding bat anyway just because I was like ooh coding bat um, yeah. yeah so I feel like that might be inflating my love of the class a little so I won't for the sake of that I won't bump it up to S but um it's it's pretty close. I'm just glad that we finally have some S tiers because we yeah. went almost the entire podcast without having a single S tier. Yeah. Well, we're about to have another because I feel like TA definitely deserves the but S tier. TA, what I know, definitely deserves the S tier. Yeah. I feel like it's uh, that also includes Office Aid, um, but I was a TA, um, so, and I don't think you've uh, actually done that before, so. so Sorry, Office Aid. Going, going back to um, English 10 time, so for the end of the school year, I was done with all my work. I was definitely that kid that got everything done a lot early. That way I would have more free time within class. Interesting. So I pretty much got made the honorary TA. 
and that um, was very very fun time just running errands you know mid class uh, lets you get up and stretch for those who who need that like I definitely need a stretching break hmm. you know from my classes so yeah worked out great for me all right Any positivity Oh, yeah, that's nice. Uh, yeah, that, that actually sounds pretty cool. Um, all right, AP Lang, what are you thinking? All right, I, I actually haven't taken. Oh yeah, AP you haven't taken AP Lang. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm C I'm CP English. So I'll talk after you. Right. This is your whole point. Uh, I feel like okay, cause uh, I don't know how to talk about um AP Lang without bringing this up. I actually had um two teachers for AP Lang. Um, mm. because, uh, um, unfortunately, uh, our teacher the first year, um, she, uh, had some unfortunate circumstances. I'm not going to dive too much into it, um, because I know that it's yeah, personal. We, we can't, we can't dive too much into it. Yeah, yeah no. it's, it's personal, yeah. but I, I know, I know the situation. Yeah, you, you know about. what I'm referring to. Um, so yeah. that, so I did have my 10th grade, um, honor, um, English teacher again, I suppose just because it was like. Because uh, I did really like that teacher. I also won't dive too much into that. So I feel like that class was especially fun with both teachers. I feel like it was a good class. Um, honestly, I want to say S tier. Just because it was, that class was really fun. I don't know what it was, but something about it, it was just, it was great. Because English classes, just having like the Socratic seminars and stuff, it's just, oh, it's just so fun. I would definitely have to agree with where you where you put it from my sentiments of um, English junior year, just really enjoyed it. I must say, just because I had him for the second semester of AP Lang, that is not the only reason why AP Lang is an S tier. It was a great class otherwise. Um, if you are listening to this, um, the person who was uh, the teacher for the first semester, you know who you are, of course. Uh, we love you. You are a great teacher. Um, yeah. Yeah, ju just disclaimer for the audience, we are not ranking teachers, we are ranking yeah, these Yeah, this is teachers. solely based on the class, we are trying to keep this as non-biased and non-offensive, or uh, inoffensive as possible. Yes, but yes, I will definitely have to agree right. with the AP line. Ceramics. Moving on to ceramics, my forte. I yes. love the class. There is only one class for it, yeah. so I think... Someone no stole one of my projects that's getting F tier. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> S tier. No yeah, question. No, S tier class. Yeah. Even as a zero period. I know people are very tired. They don't like zero periods. Even as a zero period, that class is just awesome. You know, it's it's really fun. You get to work on your projects just whenever. <laughs> There's a good amount of free time where you just can work on a, whatever you want to really in the class. Not, you know, fully blown yeah. up whatever projects you're currently working on, if there's a project that you really liked more and you wanted to go back and spruce up on, you have so much time to do that in the class, and it's honestly just an amazing class. I, I had too many experiences like it. You know, it, it was definitely a good class. Good class, very fun, um, very uh, free. Like, you get to do what you want as long as you're not being inappropriate and or, and or I, violent. Uh, good class. I took it my sophomore year, so yeah. I would definitely say if we had it in the sophomore, you know, like little area, that would definitely been the first S tier. Yeah, I had I had a junior, so uh, makes makes sense. But I would definitely say, out of this entire list, it was definitely my first choice for S tier. I saw it immediately, and I knew what my decision was. Yeah. All right. Speaking of your decisions, uh, this next one, actually, these next two are going to be entirely yours. Yes. So. You guys get to hear me, Eric Lippe, talk for a bit longer. It's so, the yay. Eric event. Uh, I guess we can we can work out that name another time. Anyways, so. <laughs> no, nope, you're incorrect. We're gonna have um, editor, which is entirely just gonna be me later. Um, make sure to take a solid like thirty seconds just to like add in like epic edits of Eric for the Eric event. <laughs> Anatomy was definitely it's I don't want to say an easier class, but it is you know being usually a third year science. It's only recommended. You don't have to take it. This is similar to like the third and fourth years of language where you don't really have to 
it's more of how much effort you're gonna put into the class which makes or breaks it all. That being said, I was definitely a kid who put a lot of effort into the class and I have a lot of positive memories from it. Um, that lots of people did not like the dissections. I, for one, actually loved them, but that's just because I'm a big science kid. However, just looking at it from the big picture with hindsight, it's we're gonna have to stop the A and S tier train and move it down to B tier. Interesting. You know what's funny? I misheard you saying dissections. I thought you said dice section, and I was wondering <laughs> what you were referring to. So. <laughs> Alright, uh, next one is also yours, Avid. Alright, Avid 11. This one is, again, I'm gonna have to jump the bat. It's an S tier class. Alrighty. And there's there's a lot of, like, like I mentioned with um, Avid 10, there's the free time, well, not the free time, but the tutoring time. Get whatever you need done. And you start so much of the college anything for college process it's amazing it's helped me out so much and i just i love the class like for most colleges you will have to write an essay for the ucs you might have to write up to four if i am correct and this class lets you pretty much get three of the four essays just out of the way get two of the essays done if i remember correctly within the first semester alone the second semester is the final college essay or well, the final one of the batch and you begin to look for scholarships there's just so much you do that's incredibly useful interesting i can definitely see why you put that nest here then all right, all right. Go to an moving on Are to the senior classes in econ? i actually um took both over the summer so yeah so you're you're another summer kid all right yes i i am indeed a summer kid um yeah so i actually can which are you taking right now are you taking gov or econ i'm i'm taking econ right now and i would definitely say my experience has been positive with the class so how positive exactly what what tier are you thinking and then i'll put in my opinion this is like a positive b tier for me similar vein as anatomy it's a good class, I like it, but unfortunately it just can't compare to something like my experience with chem, my experience with English, my experience with Spanish. Um, I so certainly don't think it was the same, like, bad as health and CCP, but after a while it just, it became so much and it was like, I think I liked econ a bit more than gov, but that being said, gov was just... Oh, but I know it was Gov is like yeah. The tedious one of the two, so yeah, I can, I can definitely. Gov was here. definitely a bit just a bit much. Like it was a bit, a bit boring, if I'm being honest. So I'd have to say that, honestly, as much as like this seems a bit harsh, I honestly might have to say like D tier. To be fair, we haven't seen a lot of like lower tier classes. You know, yeah. hopefully we would actually not have to ever do lower tier classes, but you know. Yeah. It's the way the cookie crumbles. Yeah. I realize that for you, that would probably be a higher tier, but... Uh, I'd maybe put it, like, C tier, but I can see what you're saying. Yeah. Because, again, I've just had the positive experience with econ right now. Yeah. I haven't taken gut. But from what I know, you know, like, in, you know, just from what I've heard, what I've seen, I definitely have to agree with that, with the D tier. Yeah. You know, go, go, you know... Love brings it down quite a bit, and then econ is just that little bit of buffering that brings it, you know, back up a little bit. Yeah, if it, if it was just gov, I might be tempted to throw it in F tier, but econ uh, okay. is actually a bit a bit better. So. All right. Let's yeah. see. Free period. That, that one's I don't even think we have to bring up that one. That one's just automatic S. If it's like. Yeah. I would definitely say it is a little from. My understanding, it might be a little bit weird with, you know, athletics. Interesting. Whatever. Yeah. Yeah. I know that also if you have a seventh and you have like a free fifth or something like that, is it a bit weird? Because it's like, it's not really um, enough time for you to actually like, well, it definitely is enough time for you to like go home and stuff, but because you're going to have to be going back, it's kind of like almost not really worth it unless you're just like quickly going to pick 
something up or something like just i mean at least you have the option to so that's good but i think it's typically nice to like if you have a seventh or something like that just kind of use it almost like a study period or something and for that honestly i think it's great i think it definitely deserves s tier just because like the freedom that it gives you and stuff depending on your circumstances the class from what i know only gets better and better so i would definitely have to agree with yes here yeah all right back in your court ap spanish all right i like the title daring or daring today aren't we absolutely so the rigor like i mentioned early is you know quite quite good but again it's very manageable the topics are very interesting unit one is about you know family dynamics that's something that you know, even if you're still learning little tidbits of spanish like i am very easy to pick up on like uses a lot of very common vocabulary and very helpful i would definitely say that the summer assignment was a little bit discouraging however you know it worked really well so are you thinking s tier a tier i'm thinking it has to be put the other spanishes with a tier i think i think it'd be fair for me to put this in a tier because i haven't finished the class mm. However, so I, that might I change your opinion it. yeah yeah i would definitely say i can't you know fully rate it just because of that unfortunately yeah. I suppose this is jumping again a little, but why don't... I mean, given that... I guess that's... I suppose that's going to be the way for all these classes, actually, come to think of it. But I was going to say, especially for psychology, because I know that it would be psychology, and typically people take uh, sociology, which you actually haven't taken at all. So that's why yeah. it's not on here, but yeah. Yeah. Psychology is definitely a um, fun class. The... Uh, I'm trying to find a good way to word this. The way that the class is structured is very unique compared to other classes. There isn't a lot of note taking. There aren't any tests. It's all activity based. Hmm. Interesting. So it's, it's a good break. It is a bit alienating at first, definitely. But you know, once apart, you know, once you more settle into that, it's definitely a great class. But unfortunately, I think we have to end the S and A tier train again and it's a b tier class enjoyable but just again cannot compare to what we currently have i mean hey that's fair okay it's ap lit which i don't believe are you taking ap lit no uh, again that's all in your ballpark all right uh i will slam dunk ap lit um so far the books what was the book that we read over the summer it's, it's gonna be really bad if it takes me a long time to remember this jekyll and hyde that's what it was all right it didn't take me that long we read that and we also read a little bit of um how to read literature like a professor which that by itself wasn't that interesting it was all right but jekyll and hyde uh, that was a pretty good book so far currently we're starting uh withering heights that seems like that is probably gonna be uh pretty interesting who knows um it's it seems like it's pretty good class uh it's fun i don't know hmm come to think of it i think we might have to do a bit of changing because it's like uh, i don't know i feel like on actually no i yeah i feel like it might be despite how much i did just talk about how great it is i feel like it's a b tier it's it's good don't get me wrong it's a good class i mean all the classes in the b tier honestly are it's it's but i don't think it's the same level as um some of the classes in the a tier i i think it's fair a lot of my choices for b tier fall into the same you know, predicament that you've fallen in right now yeah they're great it's just they can't really compare unfortunately yeah. Now we have um, basically uh, another English class, um, AP Stats. That's all in your ballpark. All right. Um, AP Stats, uh, for those of you who haven't taken the class, uh, the reason why I say it's another English class is because um, it's quite a bit of writing for English. Ah, I mean, for math, it's quite a bit of writing. Typically, math classes are like, oh, like all the writing that you do is really like just like a label for an answer or something or just like a small interpretation basically everything is interpreted in stats so uh yeah it's quite a bit of writing that being said um it does seem like a pretty interesting class um i feel like it's given that being said i feel like it's not as good as some of the other math classes like i feel like they were a bit more enjoyable 
Um, so I think I might, as interesting as it is, I feel like I might have to put it in C tier. Yeah, from what I know, lots of people have had a bit of issues with the classes, so I can understand the C tier. Yeah. Um, let's see, robotics. Uh, this robotics, class... I can't, like, yeah. barely, that's all your, that's all your yeah. ballpark. I have taken robotics, but that was, again, like I slightly mentioned earlier, LUSD, it's very different out here. Interesting. Um, yeah, that class, because I'm taking that 7, so it's also, it's a completely different experience. It's, uh, pretty interesting. Um, so far we haven't really been able to get, like, too much done for uh, reasons which I won't touch on um, but yeah so far we've been a bit slow uh, things have gone unexpected that being said the class has been fun so um, I'm gonna I think I'm gonna put it in B tier um, moving on we have AP Physics C uh, I think this might be another one that's in my, yeah back in my ballpark still um, alright uh, AP Physics Honestly, out of all the AP classes, this one um, feels the most like an actual like college class, I feel. I haven't actually taken a college class before, but this one like feels the most... It, it feels very unique, and I actually like it quite a lot. Like, um, Whereas some other AP classes are just, oh, the topic's a bit more difficult, but it still feels like a college... I mean, eh, like a high school level class. This one like feels like it's it's... It feels almost like significantly more difficult, but less in the sense of like everything is in incredibly difficult, but more just like it's it's definitely requires a lot more like creative thinking, sort of. It's hard to explain. It's de it's definitely a really good class though. So I recommend that um, if anyone would like to take it or at least take um, normal physics, although I'm not sure how big of a difference that is, I think it's a good class. So I'm gonna put that in A tier. All right. All right. Finally, back to you, with Avid for okay. the final time. All right, Avid for the final time. Avid twelve is definitely. I would say it's like Avid, Avid eleven, Avid junior year. It's, oh, it's so great. There's even more time to work on the stuff. So say if you're a very busy person, which I am, I use it for a lot of um time to get a lot of work done. But yet, there's also a very big focus on colleges and making sure that you get in places. The teachers are very caring. They're there to help you out so much with the entire process. It's amazing. And for that, I would say it is definitely an S tier. All right, that's another S tier. All right, the final one, the big bad. Well, it's not actually bad. Um, but uh, the one for all the marbles, all the beans, um, all the other uh, analogies and um whatever the term is Unz, all their clips. yeah all, all the other all clips. the other uh little catchphrases that um we can't think of uh journalism what what do you what are you thinking okay let's see i think we I'm both totally know not F no i'm just kidding yes F just kidding no just i just can't kidding. take it out no <laughs> okay s s tier it's definitely -tier. a great elective yeah. It's definitely great. You get to work on interviewing skills, similar to Avid Ten. It does help out with some of those like social skills that you might need later on in life. It'll be definitely great, great thing to put on a resume, and just the experience has been extremely positive. Yeah, so, we're we're not biased. We swear. <laughs> we are absolutely not biased right now. I am crossing yeah. both my fingers. We are unbiased. In interesting Anyways. you're crossing your foot got it right. <laughs> yeah i i definitely think uh good class i think it's very good it's very fun Classics it's not really it's like it's not really like any other class either it's very unique yeah, it's, in something it's it's unlike so many other classes but like ceramics it's just one of those classes that's naturally deserving of the s tier i'd say yeah all right well i think that's about it do you think any uh rearrangements are necessary all right let's do a last run through health and ccp gov and econ those deserve the tiers yeah that they're in. i think i think ap stats is ah uh, part of me wants to move it to b tier but i also feel like we have so much stuff in b tier and i don't agree with some of them but yeah mm. i'm gonna be honest i have to i think c tier looks good if anything yeah. we might have to bump 
down maybe something from B tier. Yeah, perhaps. Uh, hmm, what should be bumped down, though? Spanish was good, though I think after in hindsight, it can be bumped down. All right. Uh, in that case, I'll probably join you and... Because uh, I don't the know French, if I also okay. feel like I think, the French... I think I, I mentioned this earlier, but just the fact of the language classes over COVID year just did not sit well. Yeah, I think I think I will agree with you and bump that down, although it does feel a bit crazy to have a two-tier gap. Um, that being said, yeah. I feel like I feel like I definitely agree with that. Um, let's see. Anything from A tier that we need to bump down? Uh, or bump... I, I honestly, I feel really tempted to bump up uh, English 10. It was really fun. That was a really good year. I think, we, you know, I I was mentioning my positivity. I think we can bump that up. Yeah, I think that can use a bump up. Um, hmm, I suppose, yeah. Uh, let's see. I feel like, what the heck? I feel like AP stats is deserving. All right. All right, I think that's, um, I'll move my dumb mouse out of the way. I think that's the finished tier list. All right, yeah, I would definitely agree. Yeah, so, um. Looks good. For those of you who, uh, when you're definitely not watching this, um, as you're picking your classes for next year, uh, make sure to take our opinions into account, um, because we are totally, um, the voice of facts, and, uh, anything else that you hear is definitely wrong. <laughs> no, nah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, again, if you if you have family members that have taken the classes, get their opinions first. They will yeah. definitely know you better than we do. And then again, also talk to the teachers, see what they will, see what they will think. So, all right. Well, yeah. I think that's about it for this podcast. Um, I have been uh, your host, Ben Parker, with my co-host uh, Eric Lepe the wonderful thank man you. himself thank you everybody and have a great whatever time you're watching this at yeah and enjoy your 3 a.m uh, Reese's puffs all right toodaloo all right. <laughs>